Hello and welcome to Building Hadoop Clusters. This is Section 7, Loading and Navigating the Hadoop File System. In this video, we are going to get hands-on and navigate across the HDFS directories. We will show you all of the basic commands that allow you to create, manipulate, and administrate files that live on HDFS. Then towards the end of the video, we will show you how to download a file from an external host to the data node's local Linux file system. Next, we will execute command that loads that file and distributes it across HDFS. Let's get started. The first thing that you want to do is connect to one of the data nodes in your Hadoop cluster. In our case, when we are going through the installation of Hadoop, we only check the client utilities to get installed on a data node and not on the name node. But we did this for both of the data nodes. So it should not matter which one you connect to, but do note it for future reference. If during installation we install the client tools on the name node, we could also use some of those client tools on the name node as well. Here we're going to connect to data node 1. So we're going to load up the SSH client and load the configuration settings that we have been using to connect to the name node in our cluster. Here we called it H1, we'll say load. This time we're going to replace the IP address with one that we have for the data node 1. We can grab the IP DNS information from the EC2 dashboard as we did before, and we replace it within the configuration settings. So let's go to the first data node, grab the DNS information, and then here for the IP address, we're going to fill it in with the new information. We then click Save, changing the instance name to Hadoop Data Node 1, and then click Open. Once we are connected, let's set up our environment and we're going to run some tests. Create the following directory using the make dir command. make dir forward slash root hadoop underscore tests. Next, we check to see if we have access to the Hadoop command line utilities. The first command you will want to run is a simple ls command against HDFS. Try the following hadoop fs dash ls and the root directory. We see that works fine. This command is executing the Hadoop file system command and it lists the contents of the HDFS root directory under forward slash. The HDFS file system has much of the same commands and semantics as when dealing with the common Linux file system, albeit a very small set of commands. To get a full list of commands that you can execute against the Hadoop file system, just type in Hadoop FS and you will be presented with a list of possible file system commands that you can execute against HDFS. You can also type in Hadoop FS dash help for a more detailed explanation of each command's capabilities. If you try to use the Hadoop command for creating a directory, which is the same, make dir or mkdir, you will see that root does not have permission to any of the directories in HDFS. This is because in the HDFS world, the HDFS user is the super user. We will use the HDFS user to create a directory and then we will allow full permissions on that directory so our root user can access it. Again, this may not be the ideal setup for production purposes, but at least it will allow you to quickly start playing with Hadoop and HDFS and not have to worry about setting up all the security permissions correctly. You can worry about that later. Let's build up the use case now. So our first step is make a directory for the root user and another for our Hadoop test under the forward slash user directory in HDFS. Let's first do sudo sudo dash u, so we're going to be the HDFS user. We're going to issue the Hadoop FS command. We're going to create a directory with mkdir. And we're going to call it user forward slash root. This command has an execute the Hadoop FS command for mkdir as the HDFS user and creates the parent root directory under user. We still don't have access yet. Next, let's make sure that our root user has access to create and edit files in this directory. We then execute sudo dash u hdfs hadoop fs dash chmod 777 user root. This command should now give our user access to the hdfs directory forward slash user forward slash root. Let's test that by creating the hadoop underscore test subdirectory corresponding to the same directory we have on local disk. This time however we are going to create the directory as root user. Execute the command hadoop fs dash make dir forward slash user forward slash root forward slash hadoop tests. This should create the directory and we'll check and make sure that you have the proper permissions. Finally, let's download a sample file and copy it from the local disk on data node 1 to the HDFS system that distribute across the data nodes in the cluster. 
In our example, I will download a list of DVD movies and corresponding information that is pipe delimited. This data set is only about 50 megabytes uncompressed. On my Amazon EC2 node, it takes only a few seconds to download. Before you go ahead and download on the data node, make sure you have enough space. You can do this by executing the following command, df-h. Here we see we have 4 gigabytes available, which should suffice. Make sure that you're in the root forward slash root forward slash Hadoop test directory. On the local file system, not in HDFS, and then execute the wget command as a Mozilla web browser user. And the link to this is www.hometheaterinfo.com forward slash download forward slash dvd underscore csv dot zip but you can download from any location that you have a file in this case we need to use the wget.u option because this website only allows browsers to download the file hence we submit a user agent as mozilla or firefox then unzip by running unzip dvd the name of the file which will generate a file called dvd underscore csv dot text Finally, once we have the file we want to copy to HDFS, execute the Hadoop FS command, copy from local, to get it there. We end with executing Hadoop FS, dash copy from local, noting the case sensitivity, dvd underscore csv dot text. We're going to send that to user root Hadoop underscore tests in our HDFS directory. That file is copying over now. Then we execute Hadoop FS LS user root Hadoop underscore tests and we confirm that that file is there and it is. So in this section we have shown you how to navigate and do basic tasks against HDFS through the command line interface. In addition we downloaded a simple pipe delimited file to the local file system in the data node and then transmitted to HDFS using the Hadoop FS command copy from local. In the next video, we will cover the Ambari dashboard in detail so you can understand exactly how to monitor and configure the system. We will also run a smoke test which will test all of the components of the Hadoop stack in your cluster, which you can do one by one, and make sure that everything is working correctly.